Hi everyone, it's Rhiannon and I'm here to talk to you about another great book. So the book I'm going to talk about today is The Time Travel Diaries by Caroline Lawrence. I got sent a copy of this book in exchange for my honest opinion of it and my honest opinion is that I absolutely love it. It's a 9 to 12 time travel mystery and you just you can't get any better than that can you? So I was a huge huge fan of Caroline Lawrence when I was younger. Um, her Roman mystery series was literally one of my favourite book series of all time um, and I was so excited to hear that she's got this this new one coming out. The premise of this one is a 12 year old boy gets sent back in time to Roman London and it is as crazy as it sounds and it is as fun as it sounds. I think one of my favourite things about this book that made it so fun to read was that it literally just starts right in the middle of the action. There's hardly any build up, but it's just like Alex is literally pulled aside by his head teacher in the first chapter and asked if he knows Latin and then is sent on to an eccentric billionaire who's invented time travel. There's a little bit of mystery when he gets to Roman London, he realises maybe he was a bit misinformed about certain aspects of it. Another great thing about this book, which was also true about the Roman mysteries, was that Lawrence works very hard to create a very accurate portrayal of what Roman London would have been like and you know she's always very attentive to the historical details and I think it worked really well in this book because Alex has you know 21st century mindset he has all these assumptions about what Roman London is going to be like similar to what anyone would think you know from movies and tv and stuff and then obviously all of his expectations are very quickly just like shattered uh because, you know, life is actually a lot more complicated and Roman life is a lot more complicated. Something she doesn't hold back on is slavery. Um, I mean, you can't write a book about the Romans without mentioning slavery. And she did this really well in her other series, but in, in this one, she doesn't shy away from the fact that people would own slaves and treat their slaves not very nicely, but she handles it very delicately and in a way that is very informative. This book is also really funny. It really reminded me in tone of like Rick Riordan because Alex is just like constantly confused about what is happening to him at all times. One of the funniest parts of the book to me and one of the things that helped it feel more realistic is like the three rules of time travel is that you have to go naked, uh, you can't eat anything and you can't change anything and the first two rules are extremely funny <laughs> in how they manifest um, and poor Alex is just stuck wandering for a little bit around Roman London completely naked. So like I said I would recommend this book for anyone who's a fan of Rick Reardon definitely um, but also if you're just wanting to learn a little bit about Roman London this is very sure to include a lot of historical detail and really creates a very realistic image of what it's like and makes me not want to go back to Roman London actually. <laughs> I think I'm fine here. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've read it let me know what you thought down in the comments or you can leave some recommendations for other titles. I'm always on the lookout for new books and as always subscribe for the latest information. Bye!